Okay, guys, officially we are on week 14, which means it is the second week of the third month. If my math is correct. So I'm putting my stuff as usual, putting my Cree elk, but eventually when the stuff runs out, I got Cree and Monohydrid that I got. So that's going to be, you know, I'm going to try that. It's going to basically up the, up the dose to like five instead of three grams. So gonna see what happens there just gonna buy more beta alanine i think this stuff is great especially on beyond failure sets which is great so as usual we take six grams of that i'm gonna be buying more eventually probably not buy some today actually because it's kind of getting low uh buying all the good stuff as usual Gotta have our pre-pump, gonna have a scoop of pre-pump and half a scoop of pre-workout. That's the plan. I will not even be exceeding or reaching a scoop of pre-workout anymore. I think the pump citrulline is already good enough. And have Gatorade as well, so only half a scoop of pre-workout. Saves me on the pre-workout because this is probably the most expensive out of all of my stuff, the pre-workout, to be honest. So, can I get some pre in in my body? Boop. Half a scoop of pre, scoop of pump, and uh, yep. Yeah. This is basically the start of every gym bro's day. We all do the same shit. We all get our creatine. We all get our fucking pump and pre workout. I know a lot of people, they don't, they don't take a pump product, but I take a pump product. Fine, it makes me feel and makes me look amazing, which is great. So, we am gonna take all that as usual. And uh, yeah, bench day. And tell you guys the numbers we're trying to hit. Uh, 140 for 10 was awesome. Uh, for like, in terms of like high rep. Uh, I'm gonna try going for 150 for nine. Or 145 for a 9 maybe, but 150 for a 9 I'm going to try first. If I don't hit that, I'll go 145 for a 9. And then, yeah. If I can hit 150 for a 9, I'm going to be... I can say confidently with 100% like certainty that I've conquered my injury. And my goal at the end of this month is to actually wander up 200 pounds. And then the month after that, if I succeed... I will be one repping two plates, 225. That is the goal for a one rep max. Uh, this month, I want to have a three rep of 175. That's what I did pre injury. And then the month after, once I hit that, it's going to be like um, probably 180 for three. Just add three pounds for three. Solid. All right, with that being said, doing my new work warm ups now, and warming up has been great before any day, particularly bench days. So, that being said, I'll catch you guys post chest day. And we just finished from Good Life, hit up chest day, chest day was incredible. And guys, it's official, we're officially just going up from here. I am no longer plateauing, I'm no longer you know, like suffering from any weaknesses. My injury is like pretty much almost gone. And uh, I did miss a accessory on tricep. I'm gonna hit it tonight anyway when I go Olympic lifting tonight. So I'll do that. Uh, but beyond that, I'm super, super happy with my bench press. It's only getting better. I'm hitting more, I'm basically hitting more reps within the same weight range from previous pre-injury, which means I am getting stronger. Uh, and it was, I, had, I had a very strong finish today. I did 150 pounds for eight reps and the eight rep finish was really strong. I remember before, like while I was on my cut, I I did manage to hit like 150 for 10 on my on my barbell back home, but maybe the plates aren't fully calibrated well, especially like the tens and the lighter ones. So like maybe that might be like you know why it was easy and all that stuff. But I hit 150 for eight. I was super happy with it. It was very good. I could have went for nine, potentially 10. Actually, no, no, no. That's a lie. I did 150 for nine. I could have went for 10. So even better. Um, <laughs> and basically the plan is, is we're going to hit this intense weeks within the next two weeks. And the plan is simple. Next week, I'm going to be hitting, 
I want to go 160 pounds for six reps. And then I want to do 175 for four. And the week I hit 175 for four, I'm going to try one rep maxing 200 pounds. Just one go. And hopefully I hit that. Because if I hit it, I'm literally going to set 225 as my goal for next um, uh, next month's uh, high intensity. And then if, if I can just hit 225 on my bench and then three plates on my squat and then four plates on my deadlift, like I will be at a point where I can start progressing again very slowly and being just super happy with everything. And like I'll be at a point where like I'd consider myself like pretty damn strong, but with a lot of potential basically. So three plating on bench probably won't be happening until the end of the year uh like maybe like later and like later in the year it took me a few months to potentially hit 225 and the uh, like eight months later about a year i'll hit three plates and then three plates is going to be the, the huge major goal on bench um if i can hit it faster that'd be great obviously but obviously left with the spotter left safe all that good stuff and all my spotters have been awesome so yeah with that being said this is the end of chest day Sweating in my car, just gonna turn it on very quickly and put on my AC. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for back day. Yo, it is back day, guys. It is officially the day after chest day, and I'm just putting in my subs. So, putting my usual stuff. Uh, I just actually bought some beta alanine right now off Amazon to get more in stock. Uh, this stuff is actually great if you're like training like past failure, you know, if you're doing like any like past failure training methods. You know, especially if you're like past your newbie gains and you know, you're just doing that extra mile, but you know, just pushing yourself to the extra last rep, whether you're doing assisted or drop set, whatever, it's really good. So, make sure to get beta alanine if you're training seriously past your newbie gains. If not, you probably just need creatine if you're serious about muscle building. Speaking of creatine, I'm finishing up my pre uh cre elk, then moving on to just pure creatine monohydrate, five grams. Uh, so I'm upping my dose by 2 grams which is just 5 grams is like the average so nothing too crazy obviously it's back day we want to get a sick pump so you guys already know how it is I always take half a pump and half a pre and on leg days I take like a full, a full pre and a full scoop this is the way it is same with chest because I want to push big numbers and those are like the the best stuff I want to like, you know, atrophy and all that. Get myself looking bigger than last time with Greg Doucette's pre pump. So there you go. Then we got Sean Alawani's pure form. It is my pre workout choice, like you guys already know. So back day, uh, looking to hit a uh, higher uh, intensity within uh, last week's rep range, not last week's rep range, within last month's rep range of the same week. Just the way we have it customized in our program. So that being said, I got my stuff in. I'm going to head to the gym. Just going to record this first bit. Letting you guys know that we out here. I should probably get new. I mean, debating. Like, normally I don't replace my gym clothes within a few days. But it's been it's been since like, mm, like Sunday, it's Wednesday. Probably get something new from my room to be honest. Eh, I'm too lazy. Fuck it. We'll wear the same thing. Nah, I'm already at my house. Alright, I'm gonna go quickly in my house, get a new uh change of gym clothes, and I'll be right back with you guys very soon. Alright, I just got myself a pair of clothes, new pair of gym clothes from all ones in the dryer. It's been three days. I don't want to keep the same pair for too long. Even I'm like, I just want my, my gym bags in my car. Sometimes I'm too lazy and I wear the same thing, but probably not a good idea. Plus, I got a lot of new clo gym clothes on me, so you know, I can actually do that. Oh, is a car coming? I know he's coming, he's gotta fucking wait for me. Too bad. <laughs> Driving out of fucking driveways and streets, man. It's, it's always like I'm the corner house, and there's always cars coming out of every direction. Anyway, um, I should update you guys what happened yesterday uh, after chest day. Uh, I had a clean and jerk and snatch night. My snatches, I normally keep them pretty light. Just work on the technique, go for reps, go for, you know, my cardio. And I, I, was, I was clean and jerking. And, like, 
like, I had, like, 35 each side. I had, like, fucking 115. And it felt so easy, you know, just, it just felt so easy, especially, like, like dismounting it. And I was listening to music. I was getting hyped. I said, fuck it. Let's let's go for the 135. Let's go for the plate on each side. I had uh, 25 and two tens on each side, which is basically a plate. And honestly, since I've been front squatting recently, it's been made me more confident in my clean and jerk. And I just hit it the first try. It was, I, f I felt it was very easy. I could have kept loading on more weight, but I said 135, we're stopping here. You know, um, probably wait till my trainer gets back and we'll continue working on my clean and jerk and snatch form. So that's kind of, that was kind of exciting. I also got to delete some of the old vlog footage because it's taking up space on my phone. Um, so yeah, basically it's been overall, like all my sessions have been very strong. I've been starting some of my sessions a little later, not like between 8 and 9 p.m. More, uh, p.m. Sorry, a.m. But like around 10, 10 a.m. closer to 11 because like I'm making sure to get my sleep in and like I've been like staying up like 30, 40 minutes after because I get back later from my nightly training. Uh, so yeah, that's that. The drop to 2,900 calories has had me... I'm still at a surplus in terms of like my weight I've gained since my cut, but like it's been declined a little bit, which is good because you don't want to shoot it up too fast. Because contrary to belief, no matter if you're lean bulking or bulking, you don't have to get fat in your in your bulk. It's just what it is. Just put on, try to put on as much muscle with as little as fat as possible. That's the point of a lean bulk. And eventually, there's gonna be a little excess fat, but it is what it is. It's impossible to like bulk and <coughs> just put on muscle unless you're like getting your new gains for the first time. So that being said, we're about to hit a sick back day. As usual, I can't do these like behind the neck pull down things. I think they're just ridiculous. So I just do like normal pull downs. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, everything's been good. Accessories have been good. Just keep pushing myself. That's what it's all about. So let's go get this. Let's hit this back day. Let's be strong. All that good stuff. And probably catch you guys post back day. Uh, <clears throat> and then I got two days off of work. I mean, two days off of work a week, which is great. I need that fucking time. Because I have not been getting time at all. Just got to park my car right now. Not in the handicap spot, but in the spot behind me so I can reverse park. Okay, let's let's do this. I've been getting like so like solid at reverse parking recently. Even though the camera lies how close I am to the right side. I'd say I'm getting pretty damn good if I must say so myself. That's pretty clean. That is a pretty clean job if I must say so myself. Pretty clean, pretty yeah, this guy's tilted that I took his spot. Too bad. That was your first. Sorry, buddy. All right, let's go get it. Let's go hit it. And uh, let's do, uh, let's have ourselves a good run today. Yo, guys, just finished back day. I'm going to delete some footage from last week's vlog because my memory's getting kind of low. But uh, just going to end up back day with just, just saying how extremely brutal my back day is. I feel like because, like, because, like, I have a finisher of fucking sumo, deadlifts, snatch pulls, and rack pulls. Just, like, uh, like I finish off with those in my back day to, uh, like, mainly also try to improve my deadlift. And, like, because dead conventional is my main deadlift form. And a sumo is something I pull on the side just to improve my deadlift. Along with the snatch pulls and rack pulls. Snatch lifts for Olympic lifting. And rack pulls are also good for Olympic lifting. Uh, and also deadlifts. It helps you like improve your lockout on your deadlift on heavier weights and how should i describe a fucking rack pull the rack pull is a deadlift variation 
that is equally as impressive as touching the bar because the range of motion is so small and you have to load it so much more heavier than your deadlift that you look like the biggest jackass in your gym. Like I was like getting in, I was at the last few reps on five plates and I didn't want to go up to five plates and a half and six plates because I had to use a washroom and be... There was a guy he's about to like squat beside me in the squat rack and I just was taking 45s from his to the point where he only had one pair of 45s. I just felt so bad doing rack pulls and having so many 45s on my on my barbell. <laughs> like I wanted to do it on the fucking power bar and with the leg press 45s beside it because there were tons more there, you know. I wouldn't have to take from the squat rack, you know, but it is what it is. I officially felt like that guy, the ego lifter at the gym. Even though it's not really an ego ego lift, the rack pull is just generally a low range of motion with focuses on just overloading at the higher part of the deadlift. But it's it's just so funny, man. The rack pulls are hilarious. No one at my gym's ever done a rack pull. And I feel like because you need so many fucking 45s at an advanced or elite level to where you just look like an asshole. And it can also be pretty dangerous on the actual rack itself if you just drop the weight on it so you got to slowly lower it on it that's something else is very important with the rack pull slowly lower it onto the, the support or drop it on the bar because if you drop fucking 600 plus pounds on a support you're going to break the support and jim's probably going to charge you a lot of money so don't fucking do that <laughs> a, a lot of a ridiculous amount of, amount of money to repair the equipment or you'll get kicked out of the gym and i love my gym i love working out something i don't want to get involved in so gonna try using the power bar next time with 45s there and yeah keeping and the thing is you got to keep the safeties around like knee level so you know it is what it is the range of motion is garbage but it's a very nice for over overloading and practicing the lock out of the deadlift so that's great so it's back day back day was intense gonna turn on my fucking car and put on my ac is cold as fuck gonna go have lunch and then i'm gonna go do some ollie lifting tonight and yeah, I hit 135 uh, on my clean and jerk last night. I think I mentioned this already, but if I didn't, it, I just felt so fucking good. Like, I just can't stop talking, but it's like, I was so happy when I hit it. And I, it's like almost working way till I can progress more, which is great. Gotta improve my snatches, start, start improving my snatches now. But my clean and jerk's getting better as I have front squats too, especially on leg day. So front squatting is very good for that. Probably will be an accessory towards it. I think it's a good idea. That being said, this is the end of uh, back day. Catch you guys tomorrow on shoulder day. And it's officially shoulder day. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of a little pissed. Uh, I just fucking despise my brother, man. He's such a little piece of shit. Fucking hate him. I know in the past I've felt remorse for him, but now I fucking hate him. Just what a disrespectful little shit. I don't have my water bottle on me because of my room, man. Too fucking lazy to go back. I don't want to see his fucking dumb ass. So I'm here. I know this is a very stressful and negative start to a shoulder day vlog, but here we are. The fact is, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I have to get like a lock cabinet to put in my fridge because like this guy keeps fucking taking shit that's not his. And I gotta get a lock in my closet it's, it's just sad that i have to live like this you know it's like why would anyone want to like live like that it's just it's just unfortunate unfortunate circumstance when you just have such a shitty negative fucking person in your family it's like anyway i'm, I'm not gonna talk about them thankfully the creatine came in which is good because i'm running out of my original one and beyond that you know, it just, I think got like three days worth crazy in here. And then we're going to move on to the new one. So shoulder day, you know, I'll, I'll be lying if I said I'm not entering my workout pissed. I am entering it fucking really pissed. But normally when I enter my workouts pissed, I end up outperforming and doing a good job in my performances and really just executing my list properly with at like overall good progressive overload so i'm gonna try to get the scoop of this gatorade bottle a little tip for you guys is to squeeze the the serving spoon to make it as small as possible and then just tap it very slowly 
this is what I gotta do because I don't have my water bottle on me. Which is kind of annoying and I'm getting it everywhere, but this is how I gotta get my pump in for today. Because I don't have my fucking water bottle and I'm not going back to get it. So it's all in. I think I missed about like 5% of it, which is not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. It's just my pump. My pre-workout though. I'm only going to get a half a scoop in. Could I get half a scoop of that in the Gatorade bottle? Gatorade's pretty good for those of you guys who don't, don't drink Gatorade before workout. I recommend drinking it and in the middle of a workout because what Gatorade does for you is it gives you a lot of ways to break that energy with the sodium within the drink as well as just energy re replenishing if you you know you push yourself very hard like myself you know if you're where you're working out you're not pushing yourself you're probably not doing something right to be honest that's just the way it is we only take half a scoop because it's not a non-intense day normal days only take like half a scoop it's just what it is going to this this powder i like a little bit more compared to the pre-pump sean's powder it just it's it's a very thick powder and like it makes less of a mess but greg's powder oh my god that powder makes so much mess jesus <laughs> so you know whenever i go to my workouts i feel happy and i can lock my ship at home put shit i don't want to touch my closet and lock that shit away it's just ease of mind i don't have to, don't have to think about it and you know, I just don't talk to the kid and then move on with my life. For those of you guys who are struggling with like, you know, it's like things that piss you off 24 seven, find a way to get an ease of mind. You know, if it's, you're in a situation like me and your shit keeps getting broken into, just lock it away. It's really as simple as that. Uh, if they try to break your locks, they try to get into your personal shit, it might have to escalate you know, to their parents, or even worse, to authorities. But at the end of the day, it's your life. And if something is too much, you got to take what's necessary and take it into your own hands. So don't let life push you around, guys. If something happens to you guys, and it's just too much, and it's breaking you every day, just, just take it into your own hands and do something to ease the pain, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So enough of the negative bullshit talk. We're just going to head to the gym, hit up on really good shoulder day hopefully hopefully put up some good numbers and i'll see you guys both shoulder day and it is officially leg day oh man i have gosh i woke up this morning not gonna lie i was going slightly insane uh so it's like there's a bottle of milk left out because it's like the one that i don't you know care about anymore because a certain sibling let's say already drank like so much of it till I said okay whatever I have the rest of my stuff locked up in my cabinet and that's phase a if he actually breaks through it I'm just gonna get a mini fridge in my bedroom uh, closet where I have my new lock installed and I'm gonna get it you know plugged in somehow whether I gotta get an extension cord if there's no you know outlet in my fucking closet like, I'm telling you guys, fight for your boundaries. Like, this is shit you gotta do. Like, I don't care if it's, like, with your closest sibling or... Oh, we're almost, we're almost gonna use the new Creature Monhydrate. I'm just gonna put this all in here, actually. Because there's, like, literally nothing left. And I'm gonna start using the new Creatine for, uh, for 5 grams starting tomorrow. So that's gonna be nice. So, yeah. Creelk done. Moving on to the Creatine Monhydrate. This is, boom, gone. Non-existent. Hello, new creatine. Monohydrate. Boom. Anyway. So, like, set your fucking boundaries, guys. It's super crucial you set your boundaries. Okay, let's get rid of the negative talk. Let's get rid of the fun talk. It's leg day. It's super fucking intense. So, I gotta have my full scoop of pre, full scoop of pump. Because I like when my legs get pumped. Um... And I got a, and I'm taking out one but two whole ass Gatorade bottles. Cause it is fucking legit. It is legit. Like we are not fucking around out here. That's all I'm saying. We're not fucking around. Have closer to four grams, technically five grams of the Cree elk, but I mean it's like I'm just moving on to the new amount. Five grams of Cree my hydrate instead of three. So, we're gonna see what happens there over the next few weeks. 
and I'm kind of just pumped, but you know, I'm ready to tackle a day. Now I got my scoop of pump, I got my creatine, my beta alanine, and get me through those really intense last rep reps. And here comes the pump, baby. Boom. Well, it's fucking loaded. That is a loaded concoction right there. I will say that. So I'm gonna be vlogging the whole ride there. Or maybe I won't, maybe I'll just stop here because I kind of want to listen to my music there, not gonna lie. Because if I listen to my music while we're recording, I get fucking DMCA'd on YouTube and I don't want that. So the reason why you guys don't get a music and fucking talking vlog is because DMCA. So that being said, I'm just gonna see you guys post like days, let, let you guys know how it goes, but it's gonna go pretty good. Okay guys, just a little update from leg day. Um, today I tried to shoot for a 240 for nine. Uh, I hit it for five. I, for some reason, like I had a real pain in my hips as I, you know, throughout the heavy sets. Um, particularly when I hit over two plates and I did 230. Uh, no, I had 225 on two plates. And 225 I could do, but my range of motion went to shit on the last set it, I got the last two few reps 100% but like it was just pain in my hips and uh pretty much two I did 185 for I decided to do 185 for warm up after one plate then I jumped to two plates I think I should have went to 200 then two plates and that kind of fucked me up I think so next time I'll probably probably do that um probably you know i was the warm-up was all solid on point probably do it as i progress a little bit a 185 200 uh main point i did 240 instead of 230 i did 240 for nine and that's like two i wanted not 240 i think it was 235 i'd have to check again i did like basically a little bit more than last week so like at five pounds more than last week for nine instead of the 12 i did last week um, so the weight went up, the reps went down, obviously, but I want to, my goal is to hit, hmm, if I want to hit six reps next week, I want to do it with 240 this time, I actually hit two solid reps with two, not two solid reps, sorry, six solid reps with 240, and then 250, uh, or I'm probably not going to PR, depends on what I feel, like I want to PR on my three to five rep for squats. Uh, but on the positive side, my front squats are getting a lot stronger. I'm feeling a lot confident, feeling a lot better as I improve my form on the front squats as I do more often. But I am going to be doing them more often because they're very important in Olympic lifting, especially for the clean and jerk. So I will be doing that. Clean and jerk, I'm getting more confident, more comfortable, more stronger in them, which I was happy. I PR'd in the clean and jerk for 145 the night prior. But uh, in terms of the front squat, I did improve a lot. I put on like 20, almost almost 20 more pounds for the same amount of reps, if not more actually. So getting more confident in my front squats, hoping I can hit two plate front squats for reps within the end of ne next month. Um, setting smaller goals, gonna improve my snatches, uh, clean and jerk, I just think I see practice, practice, but you know, we'll see. Going to go to the CrossFit place to see what's going on, just talk to them they're open and all that i'll probably check it out see where like, my coach is at because i want to you know suggest a few things that i'd like to get better at gotta fill my car with gas and gas is expensive as fuck now so it's you know and hopefully i'm getting you know paid i haven't been paid in, i got paid but like i'm getting my stuff at the end of the month which is kind of like brutal but it is what it is uh main point is i'm just gonna go home see what's going on in my house uh, got a lot of bullshit going on there I gotta deal with and then I'm working all day from 12 uh, 2 p.m. till pretty much 11 so Yep, that brutal leg day Saturday, you know, I wake up do my clean and jerk and snatches and then go to work Same thing all day Sunday. We got deadlift. We're doing we're doing um, pause deadlifts uh, And then basically I'm going to try to PR 260 and then when I hit 260, I'm gonna then, you know, hopefully, slowly, slowly, we'll get to three plates on the, not three plates, sorry, four plates on the deadlift over time. And yeah, just keep progressing, keep getting bigger, better, keep getting stronger. Bench press, another thing I forgot to mention, I wanna hit 200 pounds as a 1RM at the end of uh, this heavy, heavy set week. Not this, the week, but the following, following after. And uh, then the month after, I'm gonna try going for my 225, not this month, but the month after, I'm gonna try going for a 225 1RM hit two plates and always have a spotter on me you know we always trying our best out here to do good 
and that's literally just about it so with that being said i'll let you guys know everything goes see you guys on saturday and then so on and so forth so catch you guys in a bit and it's deadlift forearm and grip day so today we're going to be doing pause deadlifts and home situation little update still improving but it is what it is continuing to set boundaries continuing to deal with shit and you know it is what it is uh, it's fine at worst fucking people wearing like my clothes and shit and you know but at least I can pay for my protein supplements and stuff and have that shit fucking stay within my grasp by locking my shit away. Also, I realized I forgot my keys. I was going to get a land here today after the gym, so probably going to go back home. So just a quick little minute recap thing before I go to the gym. I'm uh, going to hit the forearm is a little stronger today along with my grip strength some static holds as well and who the hell is this is my sister i don't know it might be my sister she went to, supposed to go to work i don't know why though she's here but anyways but anyways i am gonna go get some my keys because i can't keep that shit alone and i'm uh head out that being said get you guys post deadlift day as usual Okay, so that was a little false alarm there. Turns out I already had my keys on me in my pocket. Some dude came, wanted to talk to my dad apparently, so he was not here for that. Um, so here we are again in the same part of the vlog because I don't know how to organize myself because I'm getting paranoid. People keep taking my shit, such as my home life situation. Anyway. Um, it's gonna be another part of the vlog where we drive to the gym and we talk and yes There's a decent amount of stuff. I'm gonna talk about today cuz Shit's always going on apparently That was very awkward. Also, I just had to reverse from a fucking crosswalk to go back to my house, but it is what it is I just don't fucking like my home situation too much right now Last month was just a pain, and this month is just annoying, and the month before that was just blessed. So hopefully, you know, I can have my mornings where I just enjoy myself and all that good stuff. But, you know, like, living with people is tough. Like, once you, like, get to, like, live solo and shit, I feel like life just gets more relaxed. I mean, it just it gets more simpler, in my opinion. And I like simple. My AC on, it's getting a little kind of humid. So yeah, we are currently within the month of July, 2022. A little uh, future update to myself. Um, you know, if my own self is watching this, which is why I record these, so I can watch them again in the future. Look back at my journey, you know, look back at how far I've came. Uh, yeah, you know, hope I can uh, really uh, specialize in my lifts and particularly have something I excel at. Bodybuilding, powerlifting, and Olympic lifting are all things that I am looking into and I'm trying to improve in by either getting my weights up, my, my one rep max up overall, you know, working on my physique, all that good stuff, looking care of my, t uh, taking care of my health, all that, and getting better at the Olympic lifting is something I enjoy, especially doing for my cardio, which is nice. I'm not a fan of these bottles with straws. How is if you open them with a lot of pressure, they just burst out of the straw, which is kind of annoying. So, with that being said, we are almost at the gym. The good life, as usual, is the gym that I go to. I go to the good life, but I wish I had the good life. <laughs> Goddamn. For me, the definition of like, just like an enjoyable life is one where you're not, I guess, tied down to the responsibility of others. You're only responsible for yourself and everyone else you're kind of just helping out with, but, you know, you're not really tied down to anyone, you know what I mean? Anyway, just waiting for this guy. He decided to turn in here. Just going to reverse. This 
spot beside this guy who just literally parked here, and I'm going to head it to my gym run. So that being said, I'm going to attempt to reverse park now, and uh, start my gym run. And uh, I got some a little time off work in the morning. I'm gonna take advantage of that, get stuff done that I want to do, and just leave. You know, and just get shit done. I have a lot of things I want to get done. So work towards that would be nice. So that being said, this is going to be my pre-deadlift part of the vlog. Catch you guys post. Let you guys know we lifted, all that good stuff. Hopefully I can hone down my technique a little bit more. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. We just finished deadlift. Deadlift was pretty good. We had pause deadlifts today. Um, we capped out pause deadlifts at about 275 pounds for five to, to six reps, I believe. It was somewhere between there, five or six reps. I think we did six reps. Uh, keeping my pauses, my deficits, and my speed deadlifts a little bit lower than max deadlift for obvious reasons. And then I did a working weight of 335 for five reps. Felt very strong. So 360 is gonna be the PR for next week. And then after 360, depends on what feels, I'll push for, do 10 pounding intervals, so 370, then 380, then 390, and 400, will work up like that, 10 pounds a month is my goal. So at the end of this year, I wanna be at a comfortable, I wanna sit like at a comfortable, at, before this year ends, comfortable 450, 450, 500 pound deadlift as a max. That'll be year one, then year two I'll look for 600 pounds, 660, 650, 650, and year three, six, uh, hopefully can cap out at 700 pounds for a single, that'd be great, and that's basically the goal for that, uh, improving my other major lifts, improving my Olympic lifting, so on and so forth, that's the end of deadlift day, uh, not much else to say there, so I'll catch you guys probably at the end of Monday before we recap the whole week.